In the heart of Minneapolis, the Target Center buzzed with anticipation. The Western Conference Finals had reached a pivotal moment, and the Dallas Mavericks faced off against the Minnesota Timberwolves. The stakes were high, the winner would secure a ticket to the NBA Finals. The crowd erupted as the players took the court. Luka Doncic, the Mavericks' young superstar, stood at the center. His eyes focused and determined. He had carried his team throughout the playoffs, and tonight was no different. The first quarter unfolded like a chess match. The Timberwolves' defense clamped down, denying easy baskets. But Donkic, with his signature step-back jumper, found gaps in their fortress. His 36 points were a testament to his skill and resilience. At Down in the second quarter, Donkic unleashed a flurry of three pointers. Each leaving the Timberwolves scrambling to catch up. The halftime break brought tension and strategy. Coach Carlisle huddled with his team, emphasizing discipline and teamwork. Meanwhile, the Timberwolves adjusted their defensive schemes, desperate to contain Donchik's brilliance. Time in the feed, Jones in the corner. Back to Luca, takes aim from three and two Mavs, and only 38 is a team for the Wolves. And Irving three. Three. Talk at <laughs> halftime about how I'm out of my mind saying this is the most talented offensive backcourt of all time. 15-2, Maverick, Ron Anderson triple. Comebacks. But the third quarter belonged to the Mavericks. Donkic orchestrated fast breaks, threading passes to his teammates. Chris Tapps poising his sword for thunderous dunks, and Tim Hardaway Jr. drained clutch threes. The lead widened, and the crowd erupted in MVP chance for Donkic in the pitch with team for two. I mean, rotation. It's Washington for three. He is on stroke tonight after going. This, couple steals. Go down. One shot, that will go. Two, three. Irving had no trouble creating space for that shot. There's a McDaniels three. Time for the ball. What a block away. The New England's getting lively. And Tom's got it. Towns now with. 14. Towns now with 14. Three. Kyrie Edwards. Another 
three. Okay. But again, against two. Widely making the right decision. Irving, open triple. And that's the plus having Lively on the floor. Dallas has a three rebound advantage. Three rebound advantage. Minnesota is shooting 38%. Splitting the defense, Miles Reed. About a three. Because now you see Lively going to the bench. You're going to play half the game. So you can play all out. You don't have to worry about it. Step back three. Kai is feeding from fans. Like, why did you pair two guys with similar... Final period. The Timberwolves fought back. Carl Anthony Towns bulldozed his way to the rim. And D'Angelo Russell hit contested shots. Yet, every time the momentum shifted, Donkic responded, his Fadiwe jumper silenced doubters, and his court vision set up crucial assists. With minutes remaining, the Mavericks led by double digits. Donkic, sweat-soaked and relentless, dribbled near half-court. The crowd held its breath. He glanced at the shot clock, then stepped back, launching a deep three-pointer. Swish! The arena erupted, and Donkic raised his arms in triumph. The final buzzer sounded, a resounding 120 for 103 victory for the Mavericks. Donkic finished with 36 points, 10 assists, and 8 rebounds. As he embraced his teammates, the weight of the moment settled on his shoulders. The NBA Finals awaited, and Luka Donkic had etched his name in playoff lore.